Welcome friends and today we have come with another very interesting feature of MS project that is called the hammock task. In today's video we will learn about that. You must be knowing what is a hammock in real life. This is a hammock, a bed made of rope or canvas whose two ends are taken support from two different points. This is one support and this is the another. Now a hammock task is also of the same kind where the normal tasks are linked with other tasks at any one particular end that is start or the finish but the hammock tasks are linked to other activities with both start and finish. Now you must be thinking when this kind of a technique is required in MS project. This technique is used when the duration of the task will vary and depend on the other tasks. For example, if we are constructing a building then the tenure of the project manager or site engineer will depend on the entire duration of the project but not on any particular task. So, in that case and any other type of overheads, we can include the hammock tasks in our schedule. Now, let us see in the schedule how we will incorporate a hammock task in our schedule. Now, this is a sample schedule to understand the hammock task in MS project. Here, you see there are two buildings. One is building one and another is building two. Same kind of activities are there. The building one is starting with the excavation activity and finishing with the finishing activities task number 3 to task number 8 and the building 2 is starting with the excavation activity of task number 10 and it is ending with the finishing activity task number 15. Now if we talk about including the project manager for this project then the project manager will be in this project starting from first task in this project that is the excavation of building 1 this is this task and he will stay in this project till the end of the building 2 that is the finishing activity of building 2. So, the duration of the project manager in a project will depend on the start date of one activity and end date of another activity. So, in this case, we can include a hammock task. How to include? Simply, we will insert one task here. We will give the name as project manager. Now, we will not give any duration to this task. We will go to the start date of the task on which the start date of this hammock task will be dependent. We will simply go and copy that cell by right clicking it, then come back to the hammock task start date and then go to paste special from the right click options. And here you see in the paste special dialog box, there are two options. One is paste and another is paste link. So we will go for the paste link in this case and will click on the OK. So now we have connected the start date of the hammock task with the start date of the project. And now we will link the finish date of the hammock task. Now the finish date of the hammock task will be dependent on the finishing activity of the building too. So we will go to that, right click on it, copy the cell, then come back to the hammock task, right click on it, again click paste special and click on paste link and click on OK. So now you see the project manager task is having a duration that we have not provided but this duration is based on the start date and finish date linking with the other tasks. Now this is our hammock task, the project manager. And also you can see in the information column a message has appeared. This task has a finish no earlier than constraint on Monday 8th July 2024. If we want to check whether there is a hammock task in any schedule that we have not prepared, simply we have to go to the new column insertion option, right click on it, click on insert column and type linked fields. See here linked field has come, we will click on it and you see for all the tasks the value of the linked field is no, whether only for the project manager task the linked field value is yes. So yes this is the only hammock task in this schedule. Now what is the utility of this hammock task? We can assign the resources with this task that are required for the entire duration of the project or for any particular building. See this hammock task can be used for any particular building also. If we want to place a site engineer then we can for only building one then we can have a hammock task for only the building one and it will be named as site engineer. The start date of that site engineer task will be linked to the excavation start date of building one and the finish date will be linked to the finishing activity of the building one. So if we want to assign the resources then right click on it and then go to insert column and type resource names. So resource name option is here. 
So in the resource sheet, I have already created a resource called the project manager to show you the example. And now we will go back to the schedule and here we will click on the resource name and select the project manager. So project manager in the resource sheet, you can see that it is a work type resource and the standard rate we have kept here 1 lakh per month. So now you can see that this project manager resource has been assigned on the project manager task. The duration is from the start date to the end date of the project. One very important thing, if you are preparing the schedule and giving it to someone, then any person who is new to that schedule may be confused with a hammock task if he has no earlier information on it. So it is a good practice to have a column of text and mention that it is a hammock task. So I think with this you have now got a clear conception about implementation of a hammock task. If you have any query, you can ask in the comment for sure and we will definitely reply to your comment. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. You can also join our membership program for one-to-one -one problem resolution through our members WhatsApp group. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.